Hey YouTube, what it is, your boy Joey Singh. So first things first, I want to apologize for not uploading a brand new gaming video today. But nonetheless, I'm bringing you guys a brand new reaction video. So this is a commentary just released, video number 120, Ghetto Advice 201. And I am so excited to watch the video. Without further ado, you guys know the routine. Uh, let me go react. So I want to apologize again for not uploading the gaming video, but this is a commentary release a new video. As you can tell, I'm about to react, so I'm pressing play now. Ghetto yeah, no advice. I need some advice, boo. What you gonna tell me today? Oh, you ain't see me, boo? Oh, you ain't see me, boo? Okay. They ain't got no fucking class. I be like, bitch, ugh. Sorry, bitch. Get up with my bitch. Why the one-on-one with baby daddy number three? But this time, I'm going to switch it up and give the ghetto people advice on how to make yourself real better. Oh, and I got my cousin Trey guest starring in this shit, too. Guest starring? Bitch, this my show. Nigga, ain't nobody here for your ugly ass. I would just like to quickly add that ghetto is not a synonym for black. Ghetto comes in every motherfucking shape. No, Cindy, I have your philosophical ass and abundance of six. Tip number one. Ghetto people. Why y'all stay naming y'all kids after places you ain't never been to? Paris, yes. China, Saudi Arabia. You need to be naming them Compton, Detroit, 16th Avenue. And y'all be naming them after shit you can't afford either. Bentley, Mercedes, Maserati, Diamond, Pearl. Meanwhile, they looking like Dodge, Neon, Honda Accord, PT Cruiser, Pebble, Gravel. Tip number two. Get you there, work at McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Taco Bell. All power mm. to make your money, but all the while I understand you come across shitty people every day. And I'm smiling at you. Bitch, smile back. I don't give a fuck if you flip the burgers at McDonald's. I'm smiling. Attitude. Leave fake ass attitudes the same place you left your fake ass at home. I did not fill out that application for you. I do not pay you 12 cents an hour. I did not purchase the bus. I'm sorry, Trey. Pause for 2.5 seconds. It just holds. <laughs> Leave your fake ass attitude or you left your stank ass edges at home, bitch. Go ahead, Trey. Talk to me, boo. Talk to me, boo, boo. Pass you used to get to work. I'm not the reason you don't know your father. So why you mad at me? Tip number three. Oh, Very quickly, dictionaries are your friends. Why are words like thought and turks well understood, but half of y'all still don't know the difference between there, there, and there? This is unacceptable. Yes, Tip number four. Yes. Why is it that the loudest females have the quietest ponytails? Before you worry about what Brittany and Ashley wore to school you yesterday, why don't you try worrying about why your hair won't grow? Tip number five. Having his baby will not make him stay. Tip number six. Ooh. How is it that you have money for weed and the new Air Jordans that release every month, but you don't have money for a college textbook. You could think long term and invest your money in stocks and bonds, but instead you'd rather think short term and throw your money at businesses run by white men who don't give a fuck about you, your impoverishment, or whether or not your child gonna eat next week. Let me tell you something. Yeah. The shoes on your feet, the clothes on your back, and that BMW that'll be repossessed next month do not give you status. Knowledge gives you status. Education you gives you status. Smart investments give you, you status. Not the brand they on your motherfucking show. The same people that flaunted shit like that in high school or the hmm. same people grinding up my motherfucking McFlurry today. Next time Damn. you consider spending your entire check on that watch you want so bad, make sure your rent is paid. Tip number seven. Yes, you can twerk, but can you cook? Yeah. Pause, pause, because Trey just said the motherfucking mouthful. Y'all niggas better listen to what the fuck he just said. Get your shit together. Or be somebody's shit. That's all I'm going to say. Get them, Trey. Press play, motherfucker. Yes, you can twerk, but can you clean? Yes, you can twerk, but can you read a goddamn book? Twerking ain't gonna get your dumb ass at the grease. Not everything, ladies. It's load of life and shaking your ass. Tip number eight. <laughs> Why you buying expensive-ass clothes for a party just to return them the next day? You need to be buying some goddamn hot shot. I've been to one too many houses that had roaches hitting the nae-nae in their bathtub. Tip number nine. Why the rims on your car <laughs> worth more than the goddamn car? Let's work on not blinding people when we pull up next to them. And while we at it, let's also work on not making them dead. If your ratchet-ass music is Aubrey in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Let us be respectful. Turn that shit down. And tip Turn number two, fighting down, others though. for any little insufficient reason is annoying, immature, disappointing, mm -hmm. and dumb as fuck. Oh, okay, cool. You can whoop any nigga's ass, but why your GPA whooping your ass? You can drop a nigga, but can you drop the fifth row of the periodic table? You can solve any problem with your hands, but can you solve X minus Y? You can support gun violence, but can you support your credit score? You motherfuckers act like wild ass animals and expect oh others to respect. God. Try respecting yourself first. And that's all, folks. If you got any advice, guidance, tips, 
Yes. Oh my gosh. So Trey Melvin and What Am I Laundry just a motherfucking mouthful. Although their videos are meant to be funny and hilarious and all that shit, they be making some real motherfucking points. Y'all people need to realize, get y'all shit together. Stop trying to look good for every Tom, Dick, Harry, Lisa, Margaret, and everybody else out the motherfucking street. Worry about getting your education, getting a job, you know, doing something with your motherfucking life instead of just blowing your motherfucking money on shit that motherfucking matter today, tomorrow, or next year. You know what? So, you know, if you've seen the video in the comment section, what did you think about it? If you enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. I'm pretty sure you did enjoy it because if you didn't, then what the hell? I apologize, you guys. I'm outside and apparently people don't give a fuck about me recording videos. So, you know what? Fuck them on their motorcycles and shit, okay? Anyways, in the comments, like I said, if you've seen it, what did you think about it? I know you guys enjoyed it. I know you did. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, like my Facebook page. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Dear YouTuber. Bye.